Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're learning about solving systems of three equations with elimination. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help, you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here negative 5x plus 3y plus 6z equals 4, negative 3x plus y plus 5z equals negative 5, negative 4x plus 2y plus z equals 13. And we need to solve this system by elimination. The goal is to try to eliminate a variable. If we take our first equation, we see there's 3y here. If I have 3y in the denominator, or not denominator, the second equation, we get subtracted 2, and the y's we get canceled. So let's go rewrite the first equation, negative 5x plus 3y plus 6z equals 4. The second equation, I'm going to multiply the whole thing by a positive 3. And doing so, negative 3, or 3 times negative 3x is a negative 9x. 3 times y, 3y. 3 times 5z is 15z. Don't forget the end. 3 times negative 5, negative 15. I now can subtract the two equations, and our y's will be eliminated. Get the other parts, negative 5x minus a negative 9x, which is adding a 9x, so that's a 4x. The y's cancel, 3y minus 3y eliminates. 6z minus 15z is a minus a 9z. And then 4 minus a negative 15, again, like adding a 15, is 19. All right, so we have one equation here now with an eliminated variable. How else can we do this to, let's say, eliminate, well, the y's? If we take this middle equation again, and we multiply it by 2, what do we get? Well, we have a negative 6x here, plus 2y, plus, well, 2 times 5 is 10, so we have 10z, equals, well, a negative 10, the negative 5 times 2. This third equation also has a 2y, and that's kind of why we did it. Let's bring it down, negative 4x plus 2y, plus z equals 13. That bring it all down correctly. I did. So now we want to subtract these two equations, and that's going to eliminate the second y's here. Negative 6x minus a negative 4x is like adding a 4x, right? And we have a negative 2x here. 2y minus 2y, they're eliminated. 10z minus 1z is a plus a 9z. And negative 10 minus 13 is a negative 23. So now we have this equation and this equation both have the same variables, x and z. Well, actually, watch this. I just bring this over here, negative 2x plus 9z equals a negative 23. And if I add these two equations, our 9z's will cancel. It's just great for us. So 4x plus a negative 2x is just a 2x here. Nine, negative 9z plus 9z eliminates, we get 0. And then 19 plus a negative 23 is a negative 4. Divide both sides by 2, and x equals a negative 2. And that's our first value we're finding, or we found. So where can we, where can we use that? Well, in this equation right here, we just plug negative 2 in for x, and we can solve for z. So negative 2 times a negative 2, plug it in for x, plus 9z equals negative 23, and now we can solve for z. Negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4, plus 9z equals a negative 23. We bring the 4 over here, subtract 4 to both sides, and 9z equals, well, that's a negative 27. Divide both sides by 9, and we get z by itself is equal to negative 27 divided by 9, and negative 3. So we have x equals negative 2, z equals negative 3, and what we have to do now is pick one of our equations and plug these values in for their variables. Okay. So the equation I picked here was the, one, the last equation. And it really doesn't matter, it can be any of them. I'll just pick the last one here. So I'm going to rewrite the last equation. Negative 4, but instead of x, I put a negative 2. Then we have plus 2y plus z, we're going to put a negative 3 in. And that's equal to 13. Now we have an equation with one variable. Let's solve for y. 
Negative four times negative two is a positive eight. Two y comes down, and we have a minus three equals 13. Eight minus a three is a five, so we have two y here plus five equals 13. Subtract five to both sides, two y equals 13 minus five, which is eight. Divide both sides by two, and y equals eight divided by two, which is four. So we have our three values we can write as a coordinate point now, as negative two for the x, y is four, and z is negative three. And so our final answer here, make sure I have it right, which we're good. <laughs> our final answer is x is negative two, y is four, and z is negative three. I hope you found this video helpful for you, and if you did, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.